Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bruce, and today I have a um, play unboxing for you guys. This is a cuttings box um, from a good seller off of Facebook. Uh, I will not be posting his name, only because I do not know if he wants to be named, and because this was not a public purge, or uh, this was not a public sale, if that makes sense. It was just like a sale through DMs. So, I did ask if he was doing mystery cuttings box, uh, and he said that he does, and for me to message him another day whenever he was ready, and so that's what I did, and, oh gosh, I'm just trying to get this open, but I went ahead and I messaged him, I was just asking if he had a mystery box, I've been kind of on a need to start a project, and I thought that it'd be great to start uh, learning about different Hoyas that collectors have, and the best way to do that is through mystery boxes. So after, oh, there we go. So I went ahead and I grabbed this from the mail, uh, and it was pretty much crushed. Uh, because they're just cuttings, I think that they'll be fine. Uh, the nice thing about the seller was is that he, um, particularly told me that these Hoyas should survive the heat. There was the heat wave kind of going around between like California and Colorado, uh, Florida, wherever. And so he really wanted to send me some Hoyas that would actually survive uh, the hot climate. So on the inside we have, um, I think this is just newspaper. We got some newspaper encasing the Hoyas. Now I just spent about like $110 uh, shipped. So, he also told me that these should be some uncommon Hoyas. So, I'm really excited. Eh, make sure that there's something else in there. Cool. Um, yeah, so here we have um, this package pretty well. And, go ahead and open this. So, in one of my videos, in my uh, tips and, or, yeah, to my tips for the beginner uh, Hoya, had is to message and to reach out or like uh, wait and see who you want to buy and sell from or in more particular who you want to buy from uh, because you never know who you're going to meet and you never know who's going to have what. But it's also nice to ask because you never know what somebody, what somebody would be willing to do for you. So, also I apologize for all of the buzzing. <laughs> Ooh! Okay. So... Oof. So it looks like there was some um, lost leaves. Uh, really sad about this one. It looks like this one was a pretty good one. But we have one, two, three, four cuttings in here. And it's just... Ah, I don't know if I could lift it. They're all fairly large. So here we go. Oh, that looks terrible. <laughs> so I'll just pull one up one at a time then. So this one is the Hoya Vertilla Salada. Uh, what else did it say? Species Bohar. So here we have the Vertilla Salada uh, Bohar. So there are one, two, three notes on here, um, and I'll just probably go ahead and throw this into some water. Toss this behind me for now. Um, next one we have a, oh, a Hoya Lucardinacea Siana. Lucardinaceana. There we go, I'll roll with that one. There, uh, I was actually watching this one in a uh, auction uh, the last couple of days, and I told myself, Bruce, no, like, you really don't need it. And it's a good thing, too, because I'm so excited. Because I, I don't have to spend the money now, you know? I, I won't have a duplicate plan, which is super nice. Okay. So this next one is... Oh, Okay. <laughs> This is the Hoya SMS001, or the Hoya Crystal. I believe that this is a hybrid by Susan. Uh, I don't remember her last name. All I know is that I see her 
name floating around in the Hoya community a lot. And I believe that Susan named this one after, I think, her daughter or her granddaughter, uh, Crystal. So that's really cute. I'm super excited. I can't wait to root this up and see uh, what the blooms would be. So the leaves are a little bit smushed. Um, as in, you can kind of see here at the top that the leaves are uh, squished. There you go. So the little leaves are squished. I'm really hoping that this kind of like uh, fills out when uh, it propagates. I might actually throw this into my propagation box. Uh, I think I might just separate each of the nodes and then have a three plant pot. Uh, kind of what, like with what I did with my NS05240 or with my Cinnamomifolia. Uh, those ones, I um, after I rooted, I threw into or I cut each individual node and I potted it up. Uh, only because I want to have more of a plant versus just one, uh, just one in the pot. Uh, oh, okay. So this is the Hoya Acuta, the EPC two seven one. So that's really exciting because I have the Hoya Acuta EPC six one seven. So it kind of seems like kind of collecting all the Acutas right now, and I'm kind of shocked that there are so many different varieties. So this one was such a generous cutting, like. I'm not sure if this one uh, ships poorly or not because there's also another leaf that's about to fall off, like it's just barely hanging on by a thread. But here's this one, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven nodes down here. Ooh, I'm not sure if you guys can see that. The glare is kind of really bad, I apologize. <laughs> so uh, there's about seven nodes. Uh, super happy, super excited. This one I'll probably just throw into some water and hope for the best. But for the other ones, I think I might just snip and throw that into a prop box and just uh, hope that each of those nodes does take. Uh, but yeah, this is all I have for you guys today. Uh, like I said, do not be afraid to ask uh, sellers if they are uh, doing some sort of mystery cuttings box because it is a great way to learn about different kinds of Hoya sets out there and really expand your collection outside from the typical Finlay Sonii or the typical uh, Callista Phyla or whatnot. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys have a wonderful day and until the next time, goodbye. Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Bruce and um, I have a unboxing. So this is another Hoya. Um, so I'm actually going to combine this one with the last video, which should have been the, um, what was it? The Hoya cuttings in that big ass box that was gonna be done up by the mail. So uh, this one is actually from a, um, I'm not sure if she's like a good friend or not, but all I can say is, is that we tag each other on all these Hoya perch posts. And so we always watch each other's backs. We're always like, oh, hey, by the way, like there's there's a perch tag. So this is my first time buying from her. Um, this was one of her perches. Her name is Be uh, Becky Sejula. I think that's how you pronounce her last name. But she goes by Becky. Uh, and I guess her last name is Sejula, but I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Anyways, so this is what the inside looks like. She did have a purge not too long ago, uh, last week, and so um, it looked like she was pretty much about done with her purge, and um, I went in to claim a plant, but somebody else had already claimed it before me, and so I was all like, well, I'll just type in next and see what happens. That person passed, and so I was all like, cool, no problem. So went ahead, paid for it, it's all good. Uh, funny story, so, um, as this purge happens and, uh, as that person was all like, oh yeah, by the way, like, I don't want this plant. I was actually auctioning for another plant. Well, the same plant in a different group. <laughs> and yeah, so that's what this one is. Luckily, the other one that I was, um, uh, the other listing that I was auctioning on, I got outbidded on, and I'm so, so happy because uh, I really don't need more than one type of plant in my collection. I mean, it would have been nice for me to like make some cuttings and make, or, and make the pot a little bit bigger, but there's really no need for that um, because that plant was pretty big. So I'm going to stop my rambling uh, and show you guys this one. So this is the Hoya Citri uh, Citrina. 
So I'm not sure if the name's gonna come out, but it's it's backwards. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so this is it. It's kind of succulency. It's got the veinings, and it was shifted some sphagnum. So I just need to figure out some poly mix and some pots, and they'll be good to go. Anyways, that is all that I have for you guys today. Thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, because this is only like, what, three minutes? Uh, I think that it's a good idea for me to just combine this one with the last one. Uh, but yeah, I just really wanted to show this one off because Becky is, from what I've seen so far, is a pretty wonderful lady. So, uh, thanks Becky. Hey! <laughs> uh, I feel like there's something else I wanted to say, but I can't remember. So, until next time.